afternoon, everybody. I want to thank you all for being here for our inaugural Bridge Grant Ceremony. Uh, we did this last Monday um, in the Canal Valley for the projects that are going on there. Um, as many of you know, we have uh, received funding very generously given by our governor. To fund these projects, we have $250,000 that will be going out into the Eastern Panhandle. We also have $250,000 that went out into Kanawha County. So just to give you a very brief background, back in 2017, the legislature passed a bill called House Bill 2724. And that particular bill called for a model to be created to address the social determinants of health. However, the, the legislature at that time did not have the money to fund the program. So nothing happened in 2017, nothing happened in 2018, and then I came into the agency at the end of 2018 and dusted off the program and take a, took a look at what needed to be done, and I created a model, uh, presented that model to the governor, and he saw the value in it and decided to go ahead and fund it. And so that is why all of you are here today. The six focus areas uh, that this grant will uh, concentrate on with your proposals are economic stability, health care, social and community services, neighborhood environment, community living, and education. And so when we opened up the grant application period, I'm very happy to report that we did receive applications for all six focus areas. And so before uh, we hand out the awards, I just want to make sure that I give our Governor Jim Justice an opportunity to add uh, any comments that he would like to make. Well, first and foremost, I'm just going to sit and talk with you right here, okay? You know, it's a, it's a great day when we're able to do things and award grants that are going to initiate programs. and. And I want to read this, this, I don't ever read hardly anything, but this bridge deal that we're talking about, standing for six priority areas, economic stability, health care, social community services, neighborhood environment, community living and education. Now just think about this. I commend Jill on doing great work. But I want you to know just this, that the very things that give you the opportunity and a jump start to maybe, maybe just get ahead, maybe just get your feet underneath you where you got a real shot. You know, oftentimes we just neglect the opportunity to give you just that ability because you're yearning for it. You're wanting that in every way. There's another thing that we've done here in this county, is communities and schools, and it's really working. Really, really working. But the thing that absolutely this does, is just simply just does this. It gives us the opportunity for those that are less fortunate in a lot of ways, it gives them the opportunity to go. And as we do this in our state, now, you know, I said this in Canal County, but <clears throat> you've got to have economic prosperity before you can help anybody. You just do. Our state was really struggling. And this is not patting myself on the back in any way. But when I got there, guys, we were dead level bankrupt. Now, you are a little bit immune to that because you're so far away from Charleston that a lot of times Charleston doesn't even know you exist. And that's a real bad, bad problem. But you are in an area where you are knocking it out of the park over and over and over and over and over. You really are. Now, but it doesn't mean that you got don't have a lot of people that are falling through the cracks. Now they are. They are. We're losing them. We're losing them to this terrible drug epidemic or whatever it may be. But we're losing great people that have a real potential in life. Now, so as we 
get better as a state, and we are better. We're tons better. But as we get better, we create surpluses and we have monies. And then we're able to do just this stuff we're talking about today. We're able to give our citizens that may be less fortunate and may be falling through the cracks a chance, a real chance. You see, that's all I want. That's all I've ever wanted. I don't want anything. Nothing. There's nothing that I want. And that's a pretty profound statement from a politician, per se. <laughs> but I don't want to be a politician. I want to be a business guy, and I want to be a guy that has an impact and changes lives. When I see something that's bad, I don't want to walk away. I don't want to hide under a rock. I want to run to the fire. And I challenge each and every one of y'all to do the same thing. Run to the fires. Do something about it. There's a lot of people in this world right now that, honest to goodness, they don't want to get better. All they want to do is just get by. Mm -hmm. Now, but I challenge you, run to the fire because we need you. We need you. You wouldn't have come out here on Saturday like this. You've got plenty of things to, that you would be doing. You wouldn't have come out here if you weren't the real, real, what an old fella a lot of times used to say, good timber. You're the good timber. Now, you're running to the fire. You're me, and I'm you, and I'm really proud of you, and it's really, really, really happy to be here with you, and we're going to give away a bunch of money now. <laughs> <laughs> I got all kinds of stuff. Right, see, that's it, we're giving away money. Here, can you come running? <laughs> She's beautiful. She can be. So, I'm going to let... Jill, did you read before and then, and then, and then that's what you did, I think. You read and we... we yes, did. I'll okay. have it. So I have my right. list if you just... Oh, okay. Then, all right. Yeah, yes. that's it. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll call your names and if you and everyone affiliated with your group could come up, the governor will present you with your check and then we'll take a photograph and then you can uh, return to your seat. So I will be naming uh, the name of the group, the name of the project, and the amount awarded. So first up, we have the Arc of the Eastern Panhandle. Their project is called Pathways Program, Vocational Training for Disabled Adults. They're receiving $13,580. Was anyone able to make it from Horizon Goodwill? I know I got an email that perhaps they weren't going to be able to make it. No Horizon Goodwill? Okay, we'll skip over them. Theirs was Get On Board Job Readiness Training. Um, moving on, we've got Innovative Community Solutions. They have IT Fundamentals for Veterans. They will be receiving $24,736. So those first three all were in the focus area of economic stability. Now we're moving on to the focus area of health care. And first up, we have Greater Recovery and Community Empowerment. The acronym is GRACE. GRACE has a program called Youth Life Coaches Recovery Coach Academy. They're receiving $25,000.
Next, also in the hair area of healthcare, we have Horses with Hearts. Horses with Hearts has an equine assisted leadership development program. Ms. Barkwell? They're receiving $18,734. Next, we have Stars That Shine, and their proposal is entitled Girls United, period. They're receiving $22,000. The next area is social and community services. First, we have Children's Home Society of West Virginia with their Healthy Grand Families program in Berkeley and Jefferson Counties, $25,000. Social and Community Services, we have Breast and Body Health Incorporated with Project Hope. They're receiving $12,500. And lastly, in the area of social and community services, Voices Against Domestic Violence, Domestic Violence Safe House Program, $25,000. So this next one is a good one. It's our sole recipient in the focus area of neighborhood environment. And that award goes to the Martinsburg High School Baseball Boosters 
for the P.O. Faulkner Field Scoreboard Project in the amount of $25,000. Okay. I got to give you some real wisdom, okay? It's some good stuff. Think about this. You're a baseball fan. You're in the last half of the last inning, and the other team's back. You're one run ahead, okay? There's two outs. The bases are low. You're one run ahead, two outs. Base play. The count on the batter is 3 2. Okay? The pitcher's in his windup, and right as he's about to turn loose the ball, you're pounding your glove. And you're on second base, or you're right field, or where it may be. Are you saying to yourself, Lord, please don't let them hit the ball for me? <laughs> harshly, but if you're doing that, that's not what you should be doing. You ought to be hitting the glove, saying, hit me the ball, I'll make the play. I'll make the play. In life, if we hit our glove and say, I want the ball, hit me the ball, sometimes you're going to screw up, but you'll never, ever achieve if you don't want the Always want to talk. Proud of y'all. Get out of here. <laughs> Jefferson County Parks and Recreation for Let's Play Mobile Recreation Steamer Program, and that award is $17,000. two awards are in the area of education. And so first up, we have Shepherd University Center for Appalachian Studies with Voices from the Misty Mountains Reclaiming Our Story, $10,000. Program. It's called Tony M. Music and Arts Foundation, Tony M. After School Arts Program, in the amount of $16,184. <laughs>
cookies on the back of your sure. big spur right? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. So that is all 13, that is all 13 of our Eastern Panhandle recipients for the Bridge Building Resources and Diverse Geographic Environments Grant Program. Uh, I'm going to let the governor close us out, but I do want to say that I look forward to coming out to visit you uh, during the one-year project period and uh, seeing how things are progressing, and hopefully we can go back and uh, make our case to the legislature that we need to expand this program. So I'll turn it over to the governor to close us out. Well, I'd end by just saying this. This lady is doing a magnificent job. And really and truly, now we have... <laughs> now we have three pilot projects. Pilot projects that we want to expand everywhere. But not only do we want to expand, we want to grow your projects too. We want to grow your emphasis and what we are doing here every year because you're doing real life stuff, but we still got a whole lot more to do. And we still got, and you know it, we got people falling through the cracks. Crying out loud, it's just such a shame, such a shame. All we gotta do is just reach out and help and touch and do what the good book tells us to do. It does every, you know, every night of my life I read a chapter in the Bible. You know, I'm a Christian through and through, and I'm very proud of it. But I am telling you without any question, it tells us over and over and over, help the needy, feed the poor, do things to help people, reach out. But it also tells us this, reward those that are doing good because they'll do more and more good. Don't just give to somebody who's just going to sit on the porch and do nothing. We want to help them. But at the same time, we want to reward you for the goodness that you're doing. Really proud of you. And I'm really proud of this beautiful lady right here. Thank you all for having me. Good day for me. Good day. Thank you.